All right, everybody, here we are in this round one. We'll be on the play. Two islands. Yeah, this is really slow. we got to be able to put some in the graveyard to play these guys, so we're going to mulligan into something that's a little bit better. Just a little bit. We'll keep this here. Tough move by the shuffler initially here. We have a three and a four drop, but we're going to be in need of some land. Opponent is playing grain, so yeah, that works. Get something on the board out here at least. If we can rip a planes, I'll feel pretty good about the situation. Go ahead and just apply this, put our opponent on a 15, well, not even a 15, more like an 11 turn clock. Don't mind putting this card in the graveyard. That's not what we need at all. Desperately need a plains or something like a shimmering grotto. For opponent attacks in, we will block though, because uh we don't want them accelerating. Maybe he's got a ranger's guile. Okay, I'm guessing we've got a bear coming. Alright, so let's go ahead and just apply the curse. Let's see if we can get by on that. Ooh, nice. We did mill out some good cards here. Opponent may be also using Mill. Maybe he's got a Naturalize in the deck somewhere, but he doesn't have it in his hand. Instigator Gang. We really need to rip a land. If I can rip a land, I'll be very pleased. No. No on the land. Alright, so... Throw down our Fox. We won't block with them, we'll have to just take three. So eight turns. Opponent might just attack. He does have counter spell mana up. Okay. I don't really mind him drawing out cards. Oh, okay. Draws the land. It's a lot of work and he's spent his blue, so if we can draw a land, we'll be able to destroy him. I 
as he is a human werewolf. Okay, go to watch keep. There's our land. Now, what do we want to what do we want to do here? Let's go ahead and slayerize the instigator gang. Yes. The curse is just ruthless. On sealed. Maybe our opponent passes turn. He's got a Hell Rider too. Wow. Opponent has a pretty good deck. But it's demanding. Why he let that elk die, I do not know. Okay. Here. Could maybe get in for five, but I think I'm just okay with casting out the Niblis. And we'll just wait with the Chumpers. Two more mana, we can drop the Reaver, and that'll be really good. Gosh, the opponent's deck is really demanding. But he does have the colors to support it. So three more turns, and he's dead anyway. Here we'll be jumping with the Fox. Actually, maybe the Niblis. He can go unblockable here if he wants to. Also, you got to keep that in mind. Okay. Lots of unblockable stuff going on there. And this will probably end it. Unless he can counter it somehow. Getting a good look at our opponent's deck. Opponent apparently has something decent in his hand, so. And we'll just block out here. Oh, 
we'll go with the scab. And let the nail do its work. Opponent dies next turn. So we got we got lost in the woods. Don't know what our opponent is really thinking. He can make him unblockable, but He's got a wild hunger in there. Four. What's he got here? He taps out four. And we'll just pass turn. Okay, let's look at what else he had. He had a Grave Tiller and Spectral Flight. Okay, so a lot of enchantments. Let's see here what we've got to remove enchantments, if anything. We've got. It's Ray of Revelation. Um, ghostly Possession. Hmm. Two cards from the graveyard. Zombie Apocalypse. Don't think. The feeling of dread might actually be worth putting in. We're we going to put it in over. I don't think anything. Curse of Oblivion might be decent. Having to exile things. Bonds works out pretty well. I think we're just okay. Um, no mulligan here. Maybe let our opponent, okay, stack some stuff up and then. Do it the curse, that's always nice. Hopefully he doesn't have a two drop. We rip a blue. 
it's going to experience some mana issues, especially if we get the curse on them early again. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good times. Let's see if our opponent makes the same mistake twice. Really need a blue. We'll take a Shimmering Grotto too. 20, 25% chance that we draw a blue or a fixer. And we're certainly willing to just block out here. Okay, I think we'll block out here. Alright, do we want to, what do we want to do, we're going to take five to get the curse on them, yeah I think so, Hopefully we'll mill out his land. What's he going to do? Why is he tapping out his land? I don't get it. Maybe there's something in the comments section we're missing. Gonna take five though. We're gonna rip a swamp. We'll take no more. Uh, okay, well, we could slayer, we could tribute. Uh, would be willing just to trade out with the Slayer here. So make him choose maybe deal three. Yeah, I think maybe just tribute. Put him in a bad place. It's either he wants to help fix his land, or he wants to keep his Geist alive and continue to beat a little bit. Okay, he's going to continue to beat. And if we can rip one more, we'll drop the Monk. Milled out two lands, that's great. So for the uh, flail, okay. All right. All right, let's see here. I think we can either cast out Divine Reckoning. No, let's go with the let's go with the monk. 
if you had two creatures on the board, Divine Reckoning and then Tragic Slip would be a nice two-for-one situation. And if he equips the Flail, we can Chump Block with just one Spirit, unless he rips a, an Island. That would have been one. So painful when you're playing somebody that's milling you to look in the graveyard and just see all of your incredibly good cards. Okay, let's see what we got. We've got a watch keep coming down the pipe here that we can kill with our slayer. And then go ahead and just wipe his board. See Neonate. Yeah, we all mind. Go ahead and jumping out here. We're going to win by mill again, hopefully. One one, and we draw a reaver. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw down the slayer. Leaves our opponent in a bad spot. Two cards he couldn't have cast it anyway. Couldn't have cast. Better. All right, so he's got some. Got some man on the board. keep and we can just bond him up I mean he's not a problem no, we'll do that no problem there Just trying to control. Could have swung in, but always looking out for the L Rider. The three seven blocker. Lost in the woods and Night Boyd's clutches. To pass turn, maybe. Okay, now we can't block or attack, so can't attack, can't block, and I don't even know. I would probably try and swing in here if I thought it was worth it, but it's not. We'll just sit back.
Yeah, not waste our dudes. Just proceed to mill them out. Seems like our opponent is kind of a beginner, so no harm done. Wish him no ill will. We just want to pack and then possibly to qualify. I don't know if we qualify with this deck or not, but it's pretty annoying. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's, we're not worried about that. Okay. Now we'll just pass turn back on over to him. Don't want to show anybody else in this draft our cards. As we could have tragic slipped the wolf, but there's no real point. The opponent hasn't managed to keep two creatures on the field for very long, so. And he encountered some mana screw with this crazy colored deck. Okay, and we won't even show. A little bit cowardly, but effective. Okay, we'll wish him a good game. And go on about our business. Alright guys, so round one in the bucket to us. And we will check you out in round two. Check out other videos on the site and subscribe if you're a YouTube follower. And if you're on YouTube and haven't checked out the site, make sure you visit. It's uh, lots of fun. All right. I will check you guys in round two.